guys, it's me, Stormy, and tonight we are going to cover the secedent houses. Now, the secedent houses are houses 2, 5, 8, and 11. So if you have your chart, flip that, flip to that wheel, and look at what you've got right here in these spaces, in these house spaces. Now, the secedent houses, this is where we... We carry out everything that we started in the angular houses because remember in the angular house, this is where we're gonna start things, where we're gonna get going. All of those kinds of information are gonna be how we do that. Now these are the houses where how do we actually carry out what we started, right? Because the secedent house is going to correspond with fixed signs. And you know our fixed signs hold us down and carry us, right? Just like the seasons, we need the cardinal signs to start us, we need the fixed signs to carry the bulk weight of the season, and then we need the mutable signs to blend the next two seasons together so that we can move on. So in this case, when we're talking about the secedent houses of how we actually carry things out, these are gonna be aligned with fixed signs. Now, let's say you have, or your client, or whoever's chart you're looking at has a fair amount of places, placements in planets placed in secedent houses. There we go. One of the things you're gonna know about these people is that they probably um, tend to concentrate a lot more on what they really value. Do they really value this, right? They're usually more interested in the in the uh, future and in long range goals for the future. They tend to be less interested in how do I immediately get this done, right? Because they have this idea that something started, but now we gotta be able to maintain this for a while. And what is this really gonna look like? And then how does this tell the story of my value? All of those good kind of things tend to be the thinking that surrounds someone with a high placement in one of the secedent houses. So. Grab your chart, check out both your angular and secedent houses because we've talked about those in both of your charts. If you didn't get a chance to watch the angular video, go ahead and click back to yesterday's video and check it out. And tomorrow's we'll do the um, cadent houses and then you can kind of put all of these house theories together. All right, guys, I love you a ton. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, thanks so much for watching my video and stopping by my channel. I hope you like the video, comment, share, definitely subscribe because we're doing 90 videos in 90 days on this channel. New learning content every single day, a minimum of one video every day. So I hope to see you back tomorrow. Bye.